Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create here for Spellbinders. Today I want to share with you a die that they sent me. I have had the privilege of being able to uh, get one of their new dies, uh, not just free of charge, but um, before the collection comes out. And I always love uh, knowing what's coming out. So that's been a, you know, I really like that. Anyway, I wanted to share with you all the die that they sent me. Beckett Fecan has some new dies coming out. And they're more like a 3D type of card dies. And there are several. I only have one that I want to share with you, but it is super cute. There's a lot of little pieces to it. And um, so I want to kind of explain to you how many you need and all of that good stuff. Because I know sometimes we don't know where everything goes. And hopefully I'll be able to break it down for you. The die that I received is the Retro 3D uh, TV. And uh, I will show you what the card looks like, but I also want to show you how to put it together because it is a little bit um, confusing, uh, but I have done all the work for you guys and I've already put one together. So I want to share with you what it looks like. Look at this super cute retro TV and it does stand up. I can stand it up and it has... Um, several different cards in here it's got four different cards in here that you can take out and add your sentiment to them this first one has the uh, antennas and then the rest you can do you can put an antenna on the rest or not whatever you decide to do but I think it's really really cute so I want to share with you how to put this together also the nice thing that I like about it is that it folds flat so you can actually put it into a an envelope to to ship it off. Now I did add dimension to mine, so mine's a little bit thick, but you don't you don't have to do that if you want to save on you know the postage. But I'm fine with it because I thought it you know dimension just makes that project for, or for me at least. So I want to share with you what the pieces are and more or less how to put it together. So you get, and there's a bunch of little pieces, guys. So I, so at first I was a little um, confused, but after I really, you know, they they do show give us the directions on how to put it together. So I want to share that with you guys. You get this base, and using my, the card that I already created, I'll point out what they are. This one is the frame up here. These two pieces make this whole piece so the top and the bottom are separate and you need to you need four of these and four of these now if you want to make it dimensional on top the way I did I would recommend that you add an extra layer of these uh, but you don't have to but that's what I that's what I think by looking at mine and putting it together adding the dimension and everything I feel that it does need to be a little bit more sturdy there because of the you know double sided tape and all of that other weight that I added to it so th those are some of the pieces and I'm going to show you how to put that one together first before I explain all of the pieces to you because they can get a little confusing so let's put uh, one of those together so here are my pieces and that you also get uh, two little strips these two little strips right here and what you do with those is you use those to cut out the lines the colored lines on the TV screen but you also cut out two in the color of your the base of and the front and the back of your TV to kind of stabilize where the division is between the top and the bottom I chose not to use it in that way. I actually cut a piece out and I'll give you the measurements. It is three and a half, I'm, I'm sorry, three and a quarter by four inches. And then I rounded the corners with a half inch corner rounder. And that way I had a whole straight piece to add the my layers to. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I felt to me that was, uh, I felt it would be stronger that way, but you know however you want to do it if you want to follow along with the way they say to put it together 
or whatever is easier for you but that's that's what you would do you would after you glued these two pieces together uh, you would reinforce with those two little strips now all I'm doing is here's the the die cut and I'm lining it up with that piece that I cut and corner round so it will be flush I think I cut this one a little short to be quite honest Ah, it's not on straight let me straighten that up there we go and I just glued it on uh, because that way it gives me a whole piece to add the others to it and it's not going to be um, it won't have that break in between because it'll be reinforced with a solid piece on the bottom and they asked you to do two just to make it stronger uh, and then here is the bottom portion to it. So I'm just going to add glue to that. And I'm not adding, if you notice, I'm not adding glue to the feet because they're going to stick out at the bottom. And I'm just going to bud this up against the piece there. Line it up side to side. Make sure it's even. And there is my piece for the... Uh, for the front or the back it could be either I already put one together for the sake of saving you guys time that you don't have to sit here and watch me glue things so I had put that one together so now I'm, I flip mine to the back and I add the second piece on the back again lining up the corners and the sides making sure it doesn't stick out or up Go up a little bit. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to take the bottom portion. This time I am going to add glue even on the feet because I'm going to adhere it to the bottom piece on the feet as well. And we're just going to line that up right there. And glue those in place and then you get a die that's like just a little strip and this strip goes right here over that division so that's where you use that so I'm slowly going to show you guys where everything goes now mine happens to stick out just a little bit so I have to trim it on the sides, but I did use the die to cut out the strip and just adding a little bit of glue. I'm sorry it's if it's dark. Um, we have a hurricane that might go through here. So and you're, you're going to get the little die cut and you're going to line it up right on top of that separation right there. And like I said, mine does stick out a little bit, so I'm going to cut it off. So, I mean, you could add more layers to the base if you wanted to. Like, it's just a tad that it sticks out. So, there's that. Now, to this, you're going to have a little die that looks like these. Like this. And these are the feet that go on your TV. I cut mine out of um, silver foil cardstock and you need eight of those uh, because you want to put a set in the front, a set in the back and do the same thing on your other piece, front and back, so it'll look finished. So all I'm doing is adding a little bit of glue to the bottom of the, the TV feet and adding my little piece there. I kind of um, do it all the way to the bottom here where there isn't any left uh, to stick out. This is flush with the bottom of the feet because if, if I don't put all of them the same, then my TV would wobble and I don't want it to do that. It's not a weeble. So I don't want it to wobble. 
So I'm making sure that it is flush with the bottom of the feet on the TV. And then I turn it back to the back. I'm going to add glue here again on both sides and adhere the feet to this side. So that way the TV looks finished on both uh, sides. Yeah. And I still need it to add it to this one. But I believe I'm gonna wait because I'm not gonna I'm not sure if I want to add dimension here. I'm gonna use this as the front of my TV. So I'm not sure if I want to add dimension there. So there's that and I do have the other two right here I'll slide them over with that piece and then you're gonna have a little rectangle piece like this which actually comes with uh, this little piece and this little piece so what I did you need three of these by themselves and then you need uh, three more cut and then you're going to add these inserts to cut the holes in it because that is the speakers on the TV and I don't I'm not even sure what this is but that part that's where it goes so it's part of the speakers on the TV so that and I added two different um, colors in gray I didn't do them my first ones are all the same in the same gray. The second ones I added a tad darker shade of gray on the bottom ones and I have these two already glued together but I want to show you that the middle one is not glued together. So here's the piece after I cut it out with the rec with little rectangle then I took the little inserts and lined them up and ran it through my die cutting machine again. So um I could cut that out now on the speaker one you can line them up and put it in there while you're cutting but the one with the three holes in the middle I felt it was just a little too long and I didn't want to damage the die or that it would go sideways because there was not enough room in the length for it and that's all you have to do glue them one on top of the other there is that little piece and you can see there it's a little bit darker on the inside and I did that on purpose so it would look uh, like shade so I'm gonna grab some dimensional foam because I do want dimension on mine uh, so I'm just gonna add a little bit to it not too bad not too much and I don't want them to really show so I'm just gonna get one of these little squares and just cut it up and put one behind each section of these speakers and I'm sorry like I said that you can see a shadow but we are gonna we're under a hurricane watch and you know we're getting the, the bad weather So it's really dark outside and here is my third one and I, like I said I don't want it to be flat I do want it to have dimension so I'm not going to um, to glue them on just yet I'm just gonna set those aside I just pretty much am pointing out to you and putting them together that way you know what's what I'm gonna move this one aside because this is the back to me and this is the one I'm going to use for the front, but I think I'm going to add another layer in the front because I did notice on my other one that it's heavier on the front because of the tape. And I haven't cut that out, so I'm going to wait on that. And then you get a piece that has is this one right here. And you have to cut this one out uh, six times. What this is, is the top, the bars that go across the top and the bottom to hold the little cards in it. The top one is just a strip. The bottom one you fold and it makes it like a little pocket, a little V pocket that so the cards that you put inside don't fall all the way through the to the bottom. And so you you have to cut out six. 
and just put four aside, separate two of them because two of them, it is perforated down the middle. So you're going to have to cut those apart. And this is what, these are the bars, the top bars that go across from side to side. And like I said, it is perforated. So you don't need a, a scissors. You can just pull them apart. But just make sure you do it carefully so you don't damage them. There's that one. And let's do this other one as well. Like, it's not difficult to put together. It is a lot of pieces, but it's not difficult to put together. And I think this would make a great masculine card. And I didn't print out any anything yet. I do have some stamps, but I don't think anything that will go with this. So I might just print out some something, some sentiments to put in there. Because, you know, this could be one that you would could say on one of the cards, Happy Birthday. And then the next one could say um, uh, Old Timer or something like that. Okay, so these are cut apart. Now I'm going to move this die aside. We already explained to you what that one is. You're going to get the four that are remaining. All you're going to do is you're going to fold them in half down the uh, where it has the uh, perforation. You're not going to cut them apart. You're just going to fold them in half. And that's going to create that pocket. So when you insert the card, this catches it and it doesn't fall to the bottom. That's the purpose of this. And I think I figured out an easy way to do these as well. I did mine after I had glued them to the TV. Then I tried put them, putting them in and it was a little bit more difficult. So now I'm going to do it a different way that I think it will be easier. But I'm not making any promises. So the other piece that you need for the for this one is this one right here. And it's actually two pieces. You need to cut four of these. And here is a piece that needs to be inserted in there. So you can just put them one on top of the other, you know, center it and run it through your machine. And you do need four of those. But this comes uh, in two separate pieces. And what this is, is where you're going to slot your, um, your little um, pockets this out and I think that by doing that before I glue them to the front or the back of the TV would be easier than to do it after I did it after on my first one and I thought okay let me try it a different way and I'm hoping this will be easier I really like this they have a really nice hot air balloon and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Spellbinders, when you order $100 or more on their website, you get free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And I think it's the same uh, for the U.K. because now they do ship to the U.K. So I'll link everything in the description box. Of course, those will be affiliate links. Uh, and, um, and I'll link both of them, the U.K. one and the one to the U.S. So you're going to take these. And you're going to grab one of these little um, tabs. And they do have a score mark you want to fold over on two of them. Well, on all of them, actually. But I'm going to start with two right now. Which is what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these V marks. I mean, these V pockets into the slot. And they have a little cut right there. It's hard to see, but it does have a little cut. If I pull it apart, you can might be able to see it a little bit see there's a little cut that when you slide to slide it in you want to slide it up that little cut that way you can get your uh, piece in and you're going to do that with all four of them on both sides so i'm going to start with just one side and it was easier to just put it in there uh, find that little mark and slide it up that way i can get it in there's two. Here is the third one. And when I had the back attached to it, 
I found it harder to do this. There's that one. And one more. I found it harder to do it that way. Uh, and hopefully this will be easier. Or I think it is easier. But we'll see when it comes to gluing it down. We'll, we'll be able to tell if it was or if it wasn't. Come on. One of them has to act up, right? I don't want to bend it. So make sure to use a thick cardstock when you're doing this because if you don't, you can bend bend it and then it's going to be weak. So my cardstock is, is a pretty good uh, weight as far as the thickness. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the ones on the other side. I'm just going to slide them into that, the corresponding slot. There's one. That was easy. And the second one, I hope you all can see what I'm doing. I'm tilting it forward or up so I can get it into that little slot there and they can slide in. Here is the third one. I kind of feel that this, this is easier than having it attached to the TV and then trying to do it. Okay, there's that one. And I do slide them down a little bit after I put them in there. That way they won't come out because uh, the way it's made, it won't allow them to come out even if you push them down. So here is the last one. So there is the bottom piece. And now, look at all these little pieces. And now let's do the top ones. You're going to do the same thing. Um, let me fold these tabs. And I think they will be easier to, to insert, to glue them down on your TV. And you don't have to worry about having something attached and trying to insert the pieces. So there's one. That went in pretty easy. There's two. Oh, this one. There's three. And here is four. So make sure that the, the side that has that jagged edge, for me, I want it facing down. So if you don't want that to be facing up, make sure you pay attention to the orientation. So now let's do this last one. Again, sliding it in into the top, finding that little uh, notch or slit, and then we'll push it down. Yeah, this, this one was super easy. There's that one. And here is the last. There's that one. And the last one. That wasn't too bad, right? I just, you know, I did look on the website to see if they had, like, instructions on how to put this together. And I couldn't find any. So I felt like um, maybe I should do this. So hopefully this will help somebody. Okay, so you have your pieces together. So you're going to take, I'm going to take the back of my TV. Actually, you know what, guys? This has to be the front because I the strip goes in the front. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to glue the feet on this one. Because I only had them on one side. So I'm going to go ahead and add the other ones. I do with them they're right here because this is going to be oops wrong one this is the back of my TV okay 
I don't, you probably can't see it. Let me get, grab this. There are little marks right here where you line up the these uh, sections. So it does have marks on either side and uh, you're going to add glue to the little piece that you folded over and you're going to line it up. I'm going to pick it up so I can see it. But you can, there's the little lines right there, and I want to make sure I'm lined up right there. So that's where I want it. And I, and I can actually just push it down and hold it there because these cards are made to close. Wait, 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 wrong one. This one goes on the bottom. The pocket, the one that has the bees goes on the bottom. Don't do what I did. <laughs> so just line it up in between those two marks and just hold it. Perfect. And now I'm going to do the top one as well. So mine is already scored and everything and folded. I'm just going to add glue to the tab. And then I'm going to line it up where I had. Where it goes. And hold it in place for a minute. Oops. And because you have these tabs in it does not make it more difficult to line up or anything like that. Because like I said, see how it folds flat? So you can see where you're placing this. So there's that one. I hope I'm making this easy for y'all. It was a little intimidating at first, but after I read the instructions and I put one together on my own time, uh, you know, off camera, that way I, I, would, I knew what I was talking about when I tried to share this. So now I'm going to glue this one on this side and it should line up. Perfectly. Let me see my marks. It's really dark right now and it's hard to see the the marks. I think it's there. So I'm holding that one there just for a second for it to dry. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. I can either add, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add glue to the piece because then I can see where my glue is versus the tab. And that way I'll know where it goes. So right there, right where I added the glue, that's where that one goes. I might, I think this one might need to go up a little bit and I am going to move it up a little bit. Because there should be a little gap in between both uh, rows of uh, these strips. So that's it. So that's part of your TV. And at this point, this is when you would put in the pockets. But I felt that it was easier to, create, to uh, put them on without them being attached to the front or back. I felt it was easier. So now all I have to do really... Is close this when I go to add these to the back portion of these and like I said I do have marks there so I'll be able to see where they go and um, I'm gonna do that right now and I might even do both of them at the same time yeah So this is the front of the TV, but remember that the silver strip goes to the front, so you want it facing you. And I'm going to glue these in place. There. I'm going to lay it flat and I can see the lines on the outside. Yeah, right there. 
I can actually see the lines on the outside piece, so I'm able to do this. And make sure you're straight. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. I'm going to add glue to the tabs. And now when I fold it this way, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to line this up with those tabs. And I can see where the lines are because the, the little marks are on both sides of my TV. So there. Pretty much, guys, this is most of the, the, the die cut work. I mean, the assembly work the rest is just adding the you know the decorative pieces but this right here is this is your tv right here like that's the whole base of your card i'm going to remove some of this stuff right here and then i'm going to bring in the little detail pieces and then i will share those with you as well because um that way i can clean up a little bit and see what all we have left to do Okay, so let's all we have left to do is to put the finishing touches or the detail work on the TV. So let's do that. Um, I will show you all the dies at the end. That way, you know, I have been showing them to you one at a time. But at the end of the video, I will share everything with you so you can see the whole complete set together. Okay, so this is how what we have so far. Now we're going to do... Let me move this one back in. We're going to do the face of the TV. And for that one, you need um, this inner frame die. There is an inner frame die right here that you use to cut uh, the cards that go in the TV and also the face right here of the TV. So we're going to cut uh, one of these in a contrasting color, in a contrasting color to go right here. And then we're going to add the details. So let's do that right now. I already have all my pieces uh, pretty much laid out. I know I had. I have my pieces pretty much laid out. That way we can. Um, hopefully I didn't throw away the other one with the uh, paper. I'd be here somewhere. Anyway, let's go ahead and start that. So I did cut out two of them uh, because the paper I wanted to use was a pearlized paper. I don't know if you guys remember, but those old TVs used to have like a tan or a, um, like not really taupe. I'm going to say maybe like a cream colored uh, knobs that they would have on them. So that's why I did the background like this. But to reinforce it, because this is kind of thin. I cut out another one in heavyweight cardstock, so I'm going to go ahead and um, do that now. I hope I didn't lose a piece um, for my TV because uh, I already had it ready. Hopefully I'll be able to find it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this and not very much because it is very thin and it does tend to want to warp because of the water content in the glue so i'm just going to line that up as straight as possible there it is there's that one and now we're going to add um i like to put a backing and move these over here. I like to put a backing in a solid piece and then I cut it out again in a silver and added the center die to cut out the hole. That way the the back has a solid piece to it. I will share with you that die. It's actually a two-piece die, which is this this one right here. 
and then this oblong one and then the frame that you can tell that this fits in there so I cut one out without the center in it and then my decorative paper that I'm going to use that is going to show and in this case I used a foil silver I used the circle in the center and ran it through my machine to cut those two out and you get these two pieces so I'm going to glue these together and I don't need very much glue on this I'm going to line it up and just glue it down so there's that so I'm going to take these two pieces and I'm going to glue them on the previous panel we just did so that's going to go there and then we do have a piece that looks like this and it's got a lot of looks like a little uh, ridges or score marks and I'll share with you what that piece looks like uh, and that is to put the knobs and that's for the knobs that are on that's this piece right right here underneath the knobs so this is what that looks like and you only need one of those unless you're using a thin paper I would recommend that you cut two and that way you can reinforce it so I'm going to um, add some foam to this one and I'm just using a scrap because it's not going to show but I'm going to add foam to that because I do want it to be raised up and I'm also going to add foam to this piece because I want that one to be raised up and that's what we're going to do right now take some foam tape and I'm going to add some foam tape to these. Yeah, I'm just going to probably just use four on this one. Like I said, you can use a scrap. Uh, I tend to save them because if I can get something out of them, I'm going to. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a couple pieces of foam. I want it to be the same height as this frame on the TV by adding two pieces of foam and that one is going to go right here and that there so let's adhere these down remove the backing to this and I want there to be a little edge showing around the perimeter that looks pretty good. Yep. Now let's do this one. And I'm going to actually finish this before I add it to my TV. As far as the knobs go and the hopefully that line, if I didn't misplace my piece, I had already prepped for that. And then I'm going to add this one and I'm not really going to press it down yet because I, I want there to be uh, for it to be as centered as possible that looks pretty good right there so there is the front of our TV let me find the um, the piece that we need to cut out so for the stripes on the TV you do get two dies to do that and those would be, I'm just going to point them out to you. It's probably better that way. Those would be these two right here. This one and this one is what you're going to use to, and just scraps of paper and different colors, any color that you like. Uh, these are the ones I use, the lavender, or dark blue, light blue, um, like a greenish uh, turquoise, yellow, a darker yellow, orange, and red. That's what I use, but you can use whatever you want. Uh, these two bars are the same ones that you would cut to reinforce the back of the TV if you didn't do a whole piece the way I did. So using these two, you're going to cut out several strips. And I have here two, four, six, eight. It took eight of them to, um, to cover the piece that I needed. And you will use this, the oblong one that goes in the center of the TV. And that's how you know if your piece is long enough or not. I'm just going to trim around that piece of paper. Just 
so I can send it through my die cut machine. So super glad that I found it. I would have been very upset if I couldn't find it. Let me move this around. Shuffling a few things. So I'm just going to put this on here and I'm going to center this on my the strips and run it through my die cutting machine. And because it is extra thick, I'm going to run it a couple times, make sure it did give me a good clean cut because I did glue it on top of another piece of sturdy cardstock. Okay, so there we go. Here is my piece. Discard the scraps. So this is what it looks like, and this is what's going to go on my TV. Put this back on the magnetic sheet. I personally uh, didn't want it just to be on there flat. I wanted to add a little bit of curve. So I just kind of use my fingers and my thumbs to just kind of mold it and shape it the way I want it. Not too much, just a little bit. If y'all recall those TVs uh, used to have that dome glass in the front. So that's what I'm trying to do here. And I am going to add some foam on here as well so it will keep that uh, shape that I want so I'm gonna add a couple pieces of foam to the center and this is going to keep the nice round dome shape so I'm just gonna remove the backing on the tape and I think I'm gonna turn it around this time on this one and you're going to center it on your TV oops oh, not straight making sure that you can that it's on there as straight as possible if you don't press it down even though I have tape on there but I didn't press it down I can actually adjust it a little bit and right there I think it looks pretty good so I'm just going to press it down on the center where I have the foam tape. Now let's add the knobs. So you have uh, two different, three actually sets of knobs. You have the bigger ones, then these four small ones, and then this slider type of uh, bar there. So that's what all those pieces are. Let me show you the dies. And that way you know that would be um, this one right here is the larger knobs right here these little this little one right here i hope you can see that that is these little ones and then this funny looking one with the the circle over here on the end that is the slider bar so i already have all of them cut out and we can go ahead and glue them and put everything together if i didn't lose any of my pieces Hopefully I did not. Nope. So let's start with the large knobs. I already have one. It's kind of hard to tell, but I have one put together already. And now we're going to do the second one. And what I like to use for paper piecing is a wax type of picker uh, gem tool. And I'm just going to add a little dot of glue there. Going to pick up the smaller circle and put it on top of the large circle and then there is a little bar so I'm just going to make a line of glue as well and we'll pick up the other one and just place it where it goes so there are my knobs now normally these do have a little bit of height so I'm going to add a dimensional hopefully a small dimensional glued um, foam foam dot to it to uh, give it a little bit of height so I have these little teeny tiny ones that I'm going to put in place huh. 
these are tiny. You get the foam up, the tape off of it, and then you would get your little dial and put it on top of that. Ooh, that does not look centered. Let me see if I can center that a little bit more. You do want to center it. And I'm going to be quite honest, whenever I use foam, uh, when I'm doing a personal project or something I'm going to ship out, I always do add glue to the foam. In this case, I'm not going to to save time, but normally I do that. So we're going to place this other one here for the second dial. This one tends to want to <clears throat> tends to want to slide around because it is pearl paper that I used. Uh, so now I'm going to place this dial in the center and press it down. So there are my two large dials. Now I'm going to do the small ones, and those I'm going to do them out of silver, and I already have them pre-cut. I'm not sure if no I don't think I lost anything the pieces are so small guys that you have to really be careful that you don't lose them because look at how tiny they are and they tend to want to flip on me and they're white on the back so I tend to lose pieces because they're so small and here is that other one here are these and these are the the four tiny knobs and the slider this one goes to the slider and then I have one more in here that I didn't take out so I wouldn't lose it so if you're if they stay in your piece of cardstock leave them in there until you go to use them so that way you don't lose them but I'm just going to add the glue directly to uh, my front here of my card and I'm just going to add the four dots where I want my buttons or my knobs, not buttons, knobs to be. Maybe I need a little bit more glue. For the knobs. And I'm going to take the larger of the circles and just put those in place. Not sure if they want to stay, but. There's that one. And that's all we have to do, but they're really small. So if you have some tweezers, that would help you. But I personally prefer a wax pick than uh, tweezers. Because as soon as I put it down and it uh, makes contact with the glue, it will stay down. Now I'm going to leave these for a minute before I add the top little uh, dot that goes on there. And meanwhile, while I'm waiting for that to set a little bit, we'll do the slider part. And that is going to go right here. So I'm just going to add a line of glue. Pick up my slider and put it in place. So here are all my knobs already pretty much in place. And let's add the little, uh, the little bitty die cuts. So you definitely need, whether it be tweezers or a wax pick to, to do this part of the assembly because those pieces, pieces are so very small. So there's one. Two, three, and they're all the same, so it really doesn't matter if you get these mixed up with the bar one because they're all about the same. And then the bar one. So there you go. Hopefully they are sticking. I try not to touch them with my hand because 
sometimes you can get glue on your hands and then it'll transfer to your uh, design so I'm going to move this one aside put this one here so this is going to go right here and look at how this pretty much almost completes our whole project and it's beautiful at this point you can add foam dots in between this whole panel if you wanted to I'm not going to uh, because I already have foam in between the layers and I'm good with that so I'm just going to add glue to the back of the piece and I'm going to lay this flat because this can lay flat so I'm going to lay it flat so I can pretty much center this that looks pretty good I still have a little wiggle room with my glue to uh, press it down some making sure everything makes contact oh, that looks really really good so now let's work on the speakers so here are the speakers and to do these, I already explained it before. I did use two different colors in the gray. I did uh, the light gray on top. And then I did a tad darker for the bottom because I wanted it to look like a shadow inside the little holes that are cut into the speakers. Uh, I didn't use foam or anything. I glued them straight down, but I did use foam on the bottom of or the solid piece. So let me share that with you all. Let me move that out of the way. That would be these, and we already put them together. I already shared with you how I put them together. Again, I will show you the pieces that you need to create that one. And that would be this little rectangle right here. So you would need to cut three all together of the solid. But for two of them, you're gonna add this inlay inside um, sorry, you're going to cut three in the solid and then you're going to cut three more. But on the second set, you're going to use this inlay and put it in here and go ahead and run it through your machine twice because you need two of these. This one is too long to fit in here and it kind of goes crooked because it doesn't fit straight across. So you're going to have to cut a solid and then take the die off. And add this one to your little die cut that you cut. And that way you can get it nice and straight. I hope that I'm explaining everything right. That you guys understand what I'm saying. Uh, you know, I try to make things easy. And then I added a piece of foam tape to the back. I try to make things easy so everybody understands. And I give a, like to give a visual that way you know where every little piece goes because I know sometimes it can be a little intimidating but once you break it down like this it's actually not very hard at all so we're gonna add the next one on either side trying to leave enough the same amount of space in between both on either side and then I do my last one which will be centered again I did add the foam tape and I'm going to add this last one. Let me make sure it's centered before I press it down. And that looks pretty good. I just need to straighten it. And there it is. I mean, that that is practically our whole TV. Look at that, guys. And like I said, it does fold flat. You can put it, create an envelope and put it in an envelope. Um, if I were you, I would add an extra piece to the feet portion of the die, uh, an extra die cut, because for me, after I add dimension on the front, it is, does get a little front heavy. That way these will not bend. The feet will not bend, but I mean, if you don't, it's not really bad at all either, but I just like to reinforce things. So the last thing that we have to do is the antenna. So here is the antenna to the TV, which is this portion. And this would be where one of your sentiments would be or anything like that. So I cut mine out in silver. You can cut it out in any color that you like. I think a pink one would be really nice, pink and gold. And um, I'm just going to take one of these cards for now, and we're going to do that because I already have this one cut out and we're going to just glue 
the the base of the antenna to this portion and um, just on the edge any more or less center it you can eyeball it or you can use your ruler or you can mark it you can use the grid on your glass mats or any kind of cutting mat that you have so I just put it in maybe a quarter of an inch if that and now I'm going to add the antenna portion to it but I'm going to glue these to the back so I'm going to turn it over on the back and I'm going to add just a couple of lines of glue at an angle so I can put my antennas in place there's one you can close them you can open them however you want to do it uh, these uh, little rabbit ears I'm going to leave mine open like that and at about the same distance now what I am going to do is I'm going to take the antenna here are here is the antenna die and there is the other portion to it the base to the antenna so I'm going to cut another one because I'm going to glue it on the back of this because I want my um, I want my card to look very very clean so for in order for it to look clean I need to cut another little piece out let me find a scrap of paper I'm just going to cut a just get a little scrap like I said these dies that have all of these little bitty bitty pieces are great for using up all your scraps now you could do a silver piece if you wanted to on the back but I'm not going to I'm just gonna do a white one and that piece is going to go here now if you notice the one I'm using is not the same white as this so that is my mistake I don't want to do that uh, because I don't want it to you want to use the same paper that you use for everything so let me just go ahead and recut that because that doesn't work for me maybe not this might be a little bit better yeah this one's better so I'm going to use this one I just didn't like the real contrasting between the two different whites there was too much of a difference Like I said, you don't have to do this step. I'm doing it because I like a card that looks really clean in the front and in the back. So let me just add some glue to this. And as you can tell, there's something printed on there. So this is a scrap. I'm using up all my scraps for all these li little tiny pieces. And then I'm just going to line it up with my antenna now it looks nice and finished in the back and in the front so there is the card that has the antennas you only need to do one like this and that of course would go inside the very first pocket so if you recall the pieces that we added down here to this uh, little uh, strip are the ones that are folded into a V to create a pocket so this um, the cards don't fall all the way through so this one I would put it into the first pocket and I'm gonna actually bend it so you guys can see that I'm gonna see if I can show you that that V portion I don't know if it might be too dark but these pockets do create a V that you insert these cards into so they don't fall all the way through look at that guys so there is our TV the only thing that we need to do is put something here it does come with sentiments um, it one of them is 
uh, breaking news, awesome, and your. So you, so you can put your awesome or you can put breaking news, whatever you, you, you know, whichever one you want to use. I'm going to use the breaking news and I'm going to share with you how I did that. All I did for this is I took a white strip of paper. Here we go again with looking for a strip of paper that matches. <laughs> a white strip of paper. I just took a white strip of paper and I cut it. I cut the breaking news. You can do it once or you can do it twice. I only did it once and cut them apart. But it's totally up to you. I'm going to run it once and see what I decide. Because I want the breaking to be on top and news on the bottom. So there we go. Because this does have uh, really small letters, I'm going to run it through a couple of times because normally I use very thick um, I use very thick paper to create. So here is my strip. It cut everything out perfectly. Now, I want it to be red on the inside. You know what? We're just going to do the one and we're going to do it red. So I'm going to grab a piece of red paper, a red scrap to um to back that up. So I have tons of red paper and I'm just going to cut myself a little strip. I don't need that much to back I'm going to back this up on here and then I'm going to cut it and trim it so I'm going to take this portion and I'm going to add glue to the back of where the words are and if I can get in between a little bit I will do that as well And then I'm going to glue that there. And then I'm going to trim it all together as one piece. So I'm just going to glue that down. When you do have glue that's seeping out through your, uh, like the letters here, for example, use a paper towel or something. That way you, it absorbs the glue when you're pressing it down and you don't transfer it onto the rest of your, um, the rest of your die cut. So I'm just going to cut it as straight as I can, leaving myself just a little edge there. Now you can use any of your other Spellbinder uh, sentiment dies to cut this out. I'm not very good at cutting straight, but it's okay. I would even say that I'm probably the worst at cutting a straight line. Because I see it wavy here. <laughs> Let's see. I want it a little bit more narrow. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to cut it just a little bit more narrow, closer to the words or the letters. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So this is garbage. So here is our breaking news. You don't have to cut every little individual letter in red and insert them or anything like that. All you do is back it up with whatever color strip you want to use for that. And then I'm going to actually just put this at an angle. I like the way it looks. So that's what I'm going to do on this one. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back. Only the portion that's going to be sitting on top of that oblong piece that we have there so it is making contact and it will stay glued 
there. Like I said, I do want it at an angle. I don't want it interfering with my knobs, though. Let me smash it down. Here. 